hey welcome back to my youtube channel once again and this time we will integrate one inch apis to our application so this is the uh, developer portal which is built by uh, one inch we can see one inch portal and here we have different different kind of apis which could be very useful for our applications so they are providing swap apis they are providing apis to get spot price of any token they are also providing api to fetch the balance of any wallet address token api order book api we can also get uh, uh, order books of any uh, token we can also have some transaction gateway we have fusion api to swap uh, into our application nft apis and multiple apis are here we can also build our own portfolio so if we wanted to uh, build something for our application suppose we have any decentralized exchange running we have any kind sort of web3 project running and we wanted to give a kind of feature to the user where they can see all their balances their uh, transactions histories and everything so we can actually leverage this one inch uh, developer portal and we can actually build the all the kind of analytics into our application which is completely free of cost so if we go to this get started button we can we can explore it so after the login you could see this is the dashboard uh, by one inch and if we go to the documentation everything is here so we have swap api fusion api history api so if you go to the balance api you can see swagger and here we have multiple apis uh, a kind of demo here so uh, let's see for the second one get balances of tokens for a wallet address so if we hit this we can get all the tokens of any wallet address at the given chain id so this is the playground kind of thing so i'm just putting 137 as a chain id polygon and i'm copying my wallet address to see uh, what balances i have let me try it out and we will see here the responses so these are the token address and these are the balances of that token so we can see zeros are here we must have something more than zero i guess so oh this is so of this token address we have somewhere around 50 tokens let's see which uh, token is this let me go to the coin market cap I have copied the address of the token let me paste here oh this is one there so all right so I have 50 tokens of one there. let me go to my metamask and let's see if I have yeah I have 50 one there so you could see we can implement any kind of dashboard using one inch APIs you could explore this also uh, so suppose we kind of uh, you must have seen about Zerion let me go to the Zerion and this is a portfolio website uh, where and we can see all the balances of the wallet address at all the network and separated by chains and everything so we have 5.91 around balance into my wallet address so I have developed a kind of a simple tutorial for that to implement and to add these API into our application. So I'm just reloading it. All right. So I have 6.93 balance. So uh, roughly six, uh, six dollars uh, of balance, 50 over here and some 5.43 Matic, which is 43 Matic, which is coming from one inch API. So uh, let's directly jump into the code, like to, to show you how this everything is working. It's very simple. Just one catch is here. I'm just let, let me explain the code first. So this is the Web3 tutorial uh, Git project, which is uh, available to the GitHub. I, I will share this link into the uh, YouTube description box. So this is the GitHub repository for that. And this is the one inch portfolio project. So let me go directly to the code now. So this is the one inch portfolio folder and into this go to the SRC and then app.js. In the app.js, you could see this is one uh, use effect function to fetch 
the wallet address of the user and then there is a component called use portfolio user portfolio sorry and where i am passing the current wallet address to which we need to show some balances of the user so if you go to the user portfolio component i have another two use effect function so let me explain this first uh, let me uh, let me explain it from start so i have three api calls which i have separated into a, a different file called server action to get spot price of a token to get token balance of wallet and get token details of the uh, token address so they have some complications there also so let's go here so the into the first step i'm just calling fetch balance of the user so by hitting this api we can get balances and i'm just filtering out all the uh, token addresses which have balance more than zero so these are the address active addresses and in this third attempt i am trying to fetch token data by address so uh, actually if you see to the one inch api uh, they are just giving the token address and their balances but which token it is we don't know so we have to call a separate api for this which is called as token api so i am calling that token api here to get the detail of that token so when i'm fetching all that i am storing it into token data state and then again i'm calling spot price of that token address so three things first fetch the balances of the wallet address once you have balances then you just check the token detail of the uh, token uh, address and after that spot price of that token and once this is finished you have all these states so i have managed another uh, use effect function when all these three things are ready like here then do some calculation so i have just calculated few things name of the token symbol of the token logo price amount and value in usdt and value in usdt and then adding it into this variable and setting into the state the total portfolio data and the total worth and then once everything is settled down i must be mapping somewhere all right here we have this so when we have portfolio data just map all the data into this ui so single token dot symbol single token dot name and everything is here so if you could see uh, implementation is very simple you just need to design your ui component just use one use effect function and call all three apis one to fetch balance second to get token details and third to get the spot price of that token and into the second step just manage what you required kind of calculation to show everything correctly into your ui so this is all but one catch is here which is a kind of a catch because of the security if you go to the one inch api let me go to the server action now which i am calling as api so suppose this the spot price of token by address so if you see uh, i'm uh, i'm calling this call url but i'm hitting localhost 5003 so they have kind of api structure in such a way you need to pass a api key into the uh, into their you uh, into their api for, to add the security layer so what i am doing is i am actually running a proxy server of one inch what it is doing it is running at 503 port and it has just two simple uh, two simple configuration for the get request we are adding a api key here and this is the headers so in headers there is a authorization and into the authorization i'm just passing authorization key which is inside my env file we just need to store here and it will add here into this like headers and then it will give you the response so i will also push this code to the github so that you just need to uh, clone this repository also and then it will work exactly like i'm uh, working is here so if you see this is the url api.1inch.dev 
but if you hit this directly you won't return any data because it requires a header and which header is can only be passed through the backend proxy server so simple what you have to do is uh like this is the server action you just need to define the call url which is mentioned to the one inch website and then second the url of the proxy server so this is the url of the proxy server and then pass url is equal to call url your url and everything is sorted will work properly so i hope this is clear to you how to implement one inch uh, apis to your application and this is really useful if you if you build your own uh, dashboard if you love to play with uh, data if you wanted to derive some other uh, good decisions using data so every data from the blockchain is completely free to you using one inch so this is all about how to implement one inch uh, fusion api to your application to build multiple use cases portfolio and everything is here see you in the next video